Here in this video, we are going to uh, get the equivalent circuit of induction motor. And then we will find out the torque equation and subsequently the maximum slip and ratio between the T max and T and T max. To begin with uh, the rotor, uh, let us start with the rotor. The rotor has got a uh, made up of like copper wire it has a uh, deal with the flux so the rotor will have the represented by a leakage reactance and resistance obviously and the supply voltage is given by e and the current is let us say i and uh, most of the book they're written as like r2 dash or we can write like R2 dash or X2 dash and E2 dash like that and I dash, I2, IR, all those things you can write. But rather than that, we would like to make it very simple. We would like to say that this is R2 and that one is X2. Here is E2 and that is current is I2. Now there is a, uh, this unlike the transformer this induction motor the emf which is induced in the rotor at standstill which is e2 will no longer the same because as the emf is induced in the rotor the rotor starts rotating in the direction of the stator flux the relative speed between the rotor and the synchronous flux get changed and that is given by the term called slip which is slip is ns minus nr by ns i can write here ns like this so here nr is equal to 1 minus s times of ns and the relative uh, speed is nothing but s times of ns that means uh, if the rotor is if the stator is uh, creating a uh, flux stator flux which is running at 1500 rpm and in case if the rotor is running at 1450 rpm the relative speed is the 50 rpm that is responsible for inducing the emf that is why the, how we were going to represent that is uh, the frequency uh, or rate of change of flux decreases with the multiplication of s so s will be multiplied over here s will also be multiplied with uh, x2 right so the equivalent circuit of the rotor side will look like this that's the equivalent circuit of the rotor side now we can rewrite or redraw it and by writing that the current is nothing but i2 is nothing but s times of e2 divided by r2 plus j s times of x2 correct which can be written as if we divide s in both the term r2 by s plus j times of x2 now if this is the expression of the current we can get the equivalent circuit look like this where x2 no longer the uh, s is multiplied here x2 will be like this and here r2 by s will be there and then supplied by a voltage which is written by e2 now earlier the equivalent circuit was looking like this so here this is a variable term here this is a variable term now we have only the resistance is a variable term rest of the things is constant these are the per phase quantity on all refer to the stator side now we get the value uh, get the new equivalent circuit with e2 as the supply voltage now what is the advantage of that why we are doing uh, all this work because the stator side equivalent circuit if we find it is also made up of uh, resistance let's write r1 it is all there is also leakage reactance on the stator side that is x1 between the stator and the rotor 
there is a mutual inductance between them that is given by xm on the rotor side we got a equivalent circuit with the inductance and resistance like this now we have got a uh, supply voltage here is v input current i can write here i1 the current in the uh, because of the current because of mutual inductance is im the secondary current i can write as i2 here x2 and here r2 by s this is how we can represent the equivalent circuit of the induction motor now emf induced is e1 and emf induced uh, will be e2 uh, both are equal we can if the number of turns are equal so at standstill these are all equal and because of modified this equivalent circuit this equivalent circuit is okay now um, calculating the air gap power what is the input power we can write this is the input power pin we can write here and what is the power which is through the mutual flux is pg air gap power and the power finally we got here is the mechanical power and if we uh, subtract the friction and windage loss then we will get the soft power but till now this will be the mechanical power over here now this equivalent circuit shall be uh, modified again so that we can easily calculate um, the values because here uh, easily calculate the output in terms of supply voltage V so for that reason this has been modified like this so the XM will be here and here we have R1 and X1 and then we have the okay then we have the rotor side resistance and reactance like this correct so here we have the approximate equivalent circuit now we can write here v is equal to e1 is equal to e2 we can write like this supply current i1 this is im and here is we have i2 now this is x2 over here and this side is r2 by s so this is how what the equivalent uh, circuit will look like and ultimately uh, our objective is to get to the torque right so to get to the torque uh, let us first calculate the power first so the power will be equals to air gap power which is uh, getting into the rotor side and that will be nothing but if we find uh, usually we say that these are the per phase quantities so for three phase three is multiplied secondary voltage is e2 and the current is i2 then cos of phi2 is a power factor angle uh, that much so it can be now made to say as e2 is nothing but we are from the approximate equivalent circuit it is v now i2 is uh, let it we keep it as i2 and cos phi2 is um, obviously this is the rotor side uh, r2 by s divided by the complete uh, impedance of the circuit on the secondary side so like this is the rotor side resistance divided by the complete value of the z right so we can rewrite this as three times of like v by z these two terms can be taken together that is again given by as i2 so i2 square r2 by s so this is the expression of the pg air gap power now if the copper loss is to be removed from this expression what is copper loss 
the copper loss will be equals to 3 times of phi 2 square r2 and uh, what we will get if we remove the copper loss we'll get the mechanical power that is pg minus pcu and we can rewrite this as r2 1 by s minus 1 correct this is 1 by s and this is 1 so like that so that can be re, uh, rewritten as i2 square r2 1 minus s divided by s so can we write like pm is equals to pg times of 1 minus s we can write and uh, also we can write p copper loss is equals to s times of pg so these are like some simple expression uh, usually asked in two mark question like what is the mechanical power in terms of air gap power or what is the copper loss in terms of air gap power now another term which is of importance is the speed let us say the speed is uh, there one term is called omega m nomenclature used is the rotor speed and other nomenclature is uh, omega ms is the synchronous speed this is a given by 2 pi ns where n is in revolution per second and also we can write 2 pi capital ns by 60 if n is in uh, revolution uh, per minute so um, but um, <clears throat> since we are talking about the mechanical synchronous speed and there is another term called omega s uh, is the synchronous speed this is what we can write ns and that is equal to 2 pi ns by 60 now what is these two differences between them this is the electrical and this is the mechanical term we know that theta mechanical is equals to theta electrical divided by p by 2 theta electrical is a higher value always because mechanically you can have like 360 degree but electrically it can be 360 or 360 into 2, 360 into 3 like that and that depends on number of poles. If the number of poles is 2 then these two are equal. So we can write omega ms is equals to omega s divided by p by 2 but we will not be using that. So we can here we can write p by 2 or here we can write 2 by p multiply like this but anyways we are going to use this omega ms and omega m so what other thing these two uh, we are doing with is that we are going to get the value of slip is written as ns minus nr by ns and we can rewrite that as omega ms minus omega m by omega ms so from here we can write omega m is equals to 1 minus s times of omega ms right and this is what is important for us what is the torque we get uh, expression for the torque uh, we have written okay we'll write down here so we know that torque is what is the torque torque is equal to mechanical power by mechanical speed correct now mechanical power is how much we are getting in terms of pg it is pg times 1 minus s and in terms of omega ms omega ms times 1 minus s so if these two cancel out we can still write this as torque is equal to air gap power divided by omega ms let us substitute those things in the main uh, in that again so we can write t equals to pg by omega ms so what is the pg value 3 y2 square 
R2 by S divided by omega ms. If I want to write in terms of V, this will be 3 by omega ms. I2 will be V square divided by Z square. What is Z? Total reactants X1 plus X2 square and total resistance R1 plus R2 by S square that much into R2 by S. Right? This is what we get. Uh, let me show you the equivalent circuit once again here. Or oh, let me just take this equivalent circuit from here and keep it on that page. All right. Uh, so you have got uh, V by Z. So here is a voltage and Z is the total impedance of this is the Z. Z is root over Z is equal to root over of you know that it is R square plus X square, right? And R is the total resistance, X is the total reactance. When I say Z square, this root over term will cut. So that is what is written over here. So we can get this equation over from here. This is what is our expression for the torque. And uh, we will keep this expression over here. No, this is what our expression for the torque, right? So this is torque expression. So once we get a torque value, now the next uh, what is uh, we have got the equivalent circuit and we got the torque equation. Then we find that what is a variable term here is the slip S. So can we just rewrite this in a better way? This is 3 V square by omega ms, right? And this is R2 by S, which is one variable term on the top and the bottom. We have, let us say these two terms are as capital X only. This is X square, right? Okay, X square plus R1 plus R2 by S whole square. That's all. We have uh, resuffled it in this way. Now what we are going to find, we are going to do is the derivative of dt with respect to ds. When s is equal to s max, this term is equal to 0. So when we take a derivative of this term, so these are the constant term, we'll keep it aside. This lower term will be like, u by v no that is uh, so this term will be square term but we don't need to anything which is term over here that is ultimately multiply with zero we don't need to write it again so what we do we do it a basic derivation lower x square plus r1 plus r2 by s whole square derivative of the upper that will be minus r2 by s square then minus upper one r2 by s then the derivative of the lower term and that is two times of r1 plus r2 by s into derivative of this uh, this one test term that is again minus r2 by s square so this is what we get and this is equals to zero lower term need not to write again so and then what i will uh, what we were going to do is we will take this aside like x square this one we will split r1 square r2 by s whole square plus 2 r1 r2 by s this is one side and another one will be so here the terms uh, like uh, okay let us write down first hold this into minus r2 by s square is equal to 2 times of r2 by s 
माइनस आर टू बाय एस स्क्वेयर होल इंटू आर वन प्लस आर टू बाय एस करेक्ट एंड हियर आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एस ओनली सो दिस टर्म एंड दिस टर्म लेट एस रिमूव एंड वी कैन राइट हियर अगेन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेयर प्लस आर टू बाय एस होल स्क्वेयर प्लस टू आर वन आर टू बाय एस इज इक्वल्स टू टू आर वन आर टू बाय एस मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दीज टू टर्म्स राइट प्लस टू आर टू बाय एस होल स्क्वेयर दिस इज वॉट वी गेट सो नाउ हियर फ्रॉम दिस वॉट वी कैन री राइट एज दैट लेट मी टेक एड वन पेज ओवर द राइट सो हियर टर्म्स लाइक दिस एंड दिस विल कैंसल दिस टर्म्स एंड दिस इज टू दिस विल कैंसल वॉट मीन्स इज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू आर टू बाय एस आर टू स्क्वेयर बाय एस स्क्वेयर नाउ फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन सिंपली राइट एस स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू आर टू स्क्वेयर बाय एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेयर वट इज दिस एस दिस एज अ टर्म विच इज कॉल्ड एस मैक्स द स्लीप एट विच मैक्सिम टॉर्क विल ऑकर सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज एस मैक्स इज इक्वल टू आर टू बाय एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेयर होल रूट ओवर एंड अ साइन ऑफ प्लस माइनस ओवर हियर वाई प्लस माइनस बिकॉज दिस इज स्क्वेयर टर्म राइट सो वी कैन हैव बहुत पॉजिटिव वैल्यू एंड नेगेटिव वैल्यू इन केस ऑफ वॉटर मोटरिंग इट इज पॉजिटिव इन केस ऑफ रिवर्स मोटरिंग इट इज नेगेटिव सो दिस विल बी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एस मैक्स और वी कैन री राइट दैट रूट ओवर ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस आर वन स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस आर टू बाय एस मैक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो वन टर्म वी कैन यूज so where are the main equation is this is the main equation so let us take the main equation from here and then we will put it over here right from that main equation this what we are going to get is t max what will be the value of the t max if we have these two values so what we are going to write is just uh, try to make a little bit shortcut and easier v square divided by so this is a term called x square right and uh, i can write that as x square uh, plus r1 square so let us write this as x square plus r1 square plus r2 by s whole square plus 2 r1 r2 by s this is the the square term we have split it up r2 by s we have done like this so here we will write this as 3 by omega ms v square r2 by s and this one we will use this term this will be r2 square by s max square plus we have r2 square by s square so we need not to read write like this rather we will write in a very easy form uh, that is uh, we will not write in this way rather we will um, simply put it like this t is equal to 3 by omega ms v square where we get r2 by s so this will be r2 by s max only right t at s is equal to sm will be simply put the value there and this is x square plus 
R1 plus R2 by SM whole square and that's all and what we will do again we will rewrite this as 3 by omega ms v square what is r2 by sm r2 by sm is here r2 by sm is this root over of x square plus r1 square and here we have already x square plus split it up now r2 by sm whole square to r1 r2 by sm but here also um, we could have uh, split it out now instead of splitting in this way we could have split in other way also like um, let us write this as x square plus um, r1 plus r2 by s as root over of x square plus r1 square like this also we can write right so we can have a square plus b square in this way we also we can write so now if we rewrite this again so this is v square root over of x square plus r1 square and the lower term will be x square plus square of these terms right r1 square plus square of the second term root over term will be out plus 2 times of r1 root over of r1 square this much so what we are going to observe here is uh, x is 2 times r1 is 2 times so take it together So we can write this as 3 by omega ms v square uh, root over of x square plus r1 square. This will be 2 times of x square plus r1 square 2 times of r1 root over of x square plus r1 square. Now this thing we will divide both the side and we can write v square this will be 2 times of root over term this will be the root over term will come over here plus 2 r1 let us so we can rewrite that as 3 by omega ms v square by 2 times let us write 2 here here so 2 omega ms r1 plus root over of x square plus r1 square so here we are finding that r2 is not there anywhere like only r1 term is there x term is there so the maximum torque is independent of the rotor resistance so this is the expression of the t max so we have got the expression of t max this one and uh, let us take it out expression of t max so here we have the expression of t max here then we have the expression of the t uh, here it is so you can if you can keep it one place so you can just correlate between them so here the expression of the t now uh, what else uh, what is the expression of the s max that is also important right this is the expression for the s max expression for x max so these are the three things together you can see and then you have to find uh, this is the sorry not here here also 
So anyway, we know that value of the S max is here this much R2 by this. So let me write here. So S max is uh, S max is equals to R2 by X square plus R1 square. So this is what and there in the plus minus sign is there. So this expression we get the value of the S max and also we need to derive what is the value of T by T max. So if both the values are given to you or you can derive it and you can get the value. Uh, okay let us derive it here. So if we derive that if you write t by t max so these are the terms which is going to be cancelled quickly right what is remaining is 2 over remaining and this will be remaining and this terms and this terms will be remaining and we need to go on writing somewhere like these terms we will re rewrite that as 3 v square by omega ms 2 omega ms 1 by r1 plus r2 by s max sm we can rewrite like that and this one we can rewrite as 3 v square by omega ms 1 by this side will be x square plus r1 plus r2 by s whole square and upper side will be r2 by s right so let me zoom up this so we are going to rewrite in this way and if we go on writing that so we suppose we want to find by t by t max so this expression will be these things will cut out so first write down for t that is r2 by s r2 by s divided by x square plus r1 let me uh, split up r1 square r2 by s whole square plus 2 r1 r2 by s correct and then i will put the value of t max right t max is here so on the top it will be 2 r1 plus r2 by sm this will be this so we get the value of this uh, t by t max right now so we need to do some uh, reshuffling like this so that uh, we can get in a very proper way and before that we can write a 2 r2 by s r1 plus r2 by sm the lower term which is this terms i can write this as x square plus r1 square is r2 by sm whole square now here is r2 by s whole square plus 2 r1 r2 by s so we need to multiply something from the top and bottom right so what we will multiply so that we can get a very good formula like <clears throat> in the bottom if we will multiply s s m by r2 and on the top also we are doing doing like that so we can get some uh, beautiful formula from that okay let us let me write here what i'm going to multiply is s sm by r2 is going to be multiplied with the entire term All right r2 square so i will remove the r2 term from that bottom and we can rewrite this thing in the, some different form so same thing will be multiplied on the top r2 square this will be r2 by s and here we have r1 plus r2 by sm now this term we can write it as here we have r2 and this cancel s and this has cancel s by r2 will multiply here 
एस बाय आर टू एस एम बाय आर टू एस एम बाय आर टू दिस इज आर वन प्लस वन या वन मोर थिंग हियर इज दैट वेन वी आर रिप्लेसिंग द टर्म लाइक आर टू बाय एस दिस विल बी प्लस माइनस राइट दिस विल बी प्लस एंड माइनस टर्म विल बी देयर बिकॉज दिस वैल्यू इज नॉट आर टू बाय एस दिस इज प्लस माइनस आर टू बाय एस अकॉर्डिंगली विल हैव प्लस माइनस ओवर हियर एंड प्लस माइनस ओवर हियर सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव प्लस माइनस ओवर हियर and that also give me the plus minus over here at the bottom also uh, we can rewrite again this when you multiply with sm so r2 square this two square will cancel some sm will cancel so what we going to get here sm square so this will be s by sm right and here R two square R two square will cancel. S square is there, so S by S M by S will get here, and then this R two. Okay, let me write down. It's okay. S S S cancels. R two one R two will out. So two R one S M by R two. Right. So what we're going to get finally is. okay so this is what we get finally right this is what we get and this is the expression of torque t by t max and if i rewrite it uh, precisely it will be 2 One plus minus S M R one by R two. This will be at the bottom. It will be S by S M plus S M by S plus same thing two R one S M by R two. Right, and uh, we just make to uh, make sure that all the sign is okay on this bottom and go top. For that reason, just uh, any substitution that we have done that we have checked, this is correct. Let us review this. This value we have put it over here. This is correct, and uh, rest of things is correct over here. So finally, we get this term of T by T max is equal to this. So here we uh, finally derive the ratio of the T by T max. We also get the value of the T max here. What is the value of the T max? Also we have derived this one, and also we find out what is the value of the slip. But well, that says one phase of the induction motor drive. A lot more to come.